This video is just going to go through a nice quick and easy way to look at um, how to do multiple transformations using your calculator. Um, in the practice sack we have are looking at the time online versus the time on Facebook as um, investigating the relationship and this is the table or part of the table that we need to fill in for the practice sack. So what I've got in my calculator is just the time online and the time on Facebook data and I want to go through and do all six of those transformations. Now if I was to do each one individually I end up with a lot of lists um, in my spreadsheet here and it becomes quite confusing and really hard to keep track of what you're doing. So a nice way of doing it is actually to create two extra columns in which you're going to do all of the transformations. So the first thing I'm going to do up in column C, I'm going to call this my IV and in column D my DV. So remembering that IV is my x-axis and for this stack we're looking at um, the time online being the IV. Um, so the first transformation is asking you for an on, time online squared transformation. So in the grey box here for column C, I'm going to ask my calculator to square the online data. So like you normally would to do your transformation, I'm just going to enter that there. What I'm also going to do is for the first three transformations, the DV is just Facebook with the original data, but I'm actually going to ask it to re um, copy it into this column D, just so that when I do the calculations or the linear regression, it becomes a lot easier. So now that I've done the first transformation, I want to do my least squares regression line so that I can get my R value and the R squared value to fill out the values in the table that are required. So I go into my menu, stats, stat calculations, and linear regression, just like I normally would. And here I make my X list the IV and the Y list, the DV. And so once I OK that, obviously I get my R and R squared value and also the equation for the least squares regression line using that first set of transform data, this um, time on line squared. The reason I made the IV my X list and DV my Y list is now I can, I'm able to go back over to this IV list and just edit the little formula in the grey box and what it will do it will automatically recalculate the linear regression um, statistics for me so the equation the r squared and the r value so i only have to have to actually do that menu sequence once and i'm able to then get all of the information i need and it keeps it all in this sort of one page or one screenshot that you have on your calculator it's much easier to keep track of so if i now want to do my second transformation which um, is a one on the time online. So I make that equals one divided by online. It'll ask me, do I want to overwrite the data? And yes, I want to change that online data. And I can see over here in column F, it has already recalculated the R and R squared value for me. So I don't need to go back through that. So I'm able to record that information. And then um, obviously my next one, is um, the log of the time online data. And remember with log, you're either doing to the base 10 or you can just type LOG and bracket and your um, variable there. And again, it has recalculated the stats for me. So that's the three X axis transformations done really quickly. And obviously I'm noting down the R and the R squared values for those. When I come to do my Y axis transformations, I want my IV to be the original data. So I'll now change that back to online. And it's my DV in column D that I'm now going to change. So for the first one, I would make it the Facebook squared. And again, recalculating these values for us straight away. So I think that's a nice, easy, quick way that you're able to do multiple transformations and keep it all nice and contained and you understand what it is that you've done. If at any point you get lost and you're not sure which calculation you've actually performed, if you go across to the grey box at the top um, of your column F there, it will actually show down in this bottom area which variables you have calculated. Now obviously because we're calling them just IV and DV, they're going to remain that 
that that IV will um, correlate with the, what you've got in the grey box here in column C and obviously DV will correlate with that. So you're able to keep track of what you're doing. The other handy thing to note about looking at this linear regression information, if we actually click into that box and go all the way to the end of the row, you can see where it's copied the statistics into. And obviously doing it this way, it will only keep the last thing that you've calculated relevant to the lists that are there. If you're doing them in different lists um, and doing it multiple times, the linear regression calculation, that number there with the stat will change to match whatever set of data it is that you're using. So there's advantages and disadvantages of doing it just as two columns and, and updating the stats each time. Um, but I think this is a nice, easy way to keep track of what's going on and so you don't get lost in you know, 15 or 20 different columns of information. You can see nicely what's going on. So I hope that was helpful.